Sports Rewind Digital, we're live tonight, fellas. We've got some baseball talk. MLB is back in full swing and the season just about open. And we've got a bit of cricket, NRL news surface, but our main thing tonight is going to be the MLB. You fellas are uh, away last week. I had to um, fly solo. Dave, you've been off for two weeks, mate. Looking fresh. Oh, mate, two weeks away from you blokes will do that. Absolutely. <laughs> That's what she said. Your yeah. uh, daughter's been going really well in the cricket, I hear, mate. And uh, yeah, she had a good season. Well, both both had good seasons. Um, unfortunately, Ash, the stage she plays in, being a non-comp, they don't count a lot of the stats. But um, yeah, Ella's Ella's kicking goals on the rep scene and on her local local yep. comp as well. So they won their grand final uh, against a fancied Lisro team. So they all played well. It was, Good to see all the girls, just all of them in general. They just improve throughout the year. They get on so well. Uh, it's just great to see. Great teamwork. And on the soccer season now, mate. On the soccer as well as winter cricket. So uh, they're trialling winter cricket down here, like a two-month thing for uh, kids kids to do. They can't get enough. But, yes, football season for Ash. So she has a trial match this week and then season kicks off on 6th of April. That's awesome. So no doesn't, rest for the wicked. Doesn't leave much time for you, mate, for baseball, does it? No. Don't worry about no. that, mate. Yeah. Well, yeah, you both know what it's like. We get left behind. We chase yeah. kids everywhere. 100%. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Randall? Mate, I went down to uh, the Central Coast on the weekend and watched the uh, – I think we watched first and second grade grand finals. Yep. On the Central Coast, that was that was pretty good. Um, didn't catch the earlier games, but uh, from all all reports, they were uh, some good games. So. Yeah, I watched fives and a little bit of fours. So. Yeah, nice. We'll see, because Pirates Pirates went fifth grade, so I went to watch that. Caught up with some oh. old old friends and all that. Watch fourth grade, old Dean Grogan still still thrown there. And then you got Sturge and Van Dyke playing third grade. Um, yeah. So. Pretty handy team, isn't it? Hmm. Those couple of months. Yes. It was a pretty handy team. Even what, uh, who won first was, grade? I uh, went to Wyong, mate. I think uh, not 100% of the score if it was 6-5 or 5-4. Yep. No, one run game, so really good game. Um, yeah, and second grade was close as well. And Mingara got up over Wyong in the second in second grade, maybe eight six, I think. Nice score. Um, but yeah, a couple of real good games. Uh, I missed third grade. We got there just as it was ending. Um, but yeah, I believe Wyong won that game. Um, some pretty handy players in in that team. Uh, Chris Brown, Jughead, yeah, um, Dickie, Dickie was in that team. Um, Carl Davies, so and Sturge is in there as well, isn't he? Stur- Sturge was in that team as well. So yeah, they they were no mugs, that's for sure. Pretty handy lineup. Did Sturge's yeah. young bloke play with him as well? Did he or? Yeah, I saw he played second grade. I think it was. Um, yep. I saw him playing second grade. Um, but you know, yeah, Mingari just got away with it at the end. A couple of couple of wally old characters there with um uh streety d mac and uh jp joel pembroke was there as well playing second grade so they just had enough to get over the top of them nice and now um baseball season kicks off up here soon mate we had a season launch how'd that go yeah friday night mate it was great good good night plenty of uh frozen slushies were uh, consumed as you could imagine uh, um, hence why there was a bit of a later entry to uh, to the grand finals on Saturday. But, um, yeah, mate, it was, it was great. Great night. Get to get people together. New people got to meet some of the old heads. And, yeah, good signs nice. for this year. That's that's for sure. And uh, good numbers coming into the season for the Tigers, mate, or what's, what's happening yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, – it's a lot of the same old faces in the in the higher grades. Um, couple of newbies or 
returning players, I should say. They're not newbies. They've, they've been here before um, and have come back. Um, our sort of grades, that middle middle of the field, we've actually lost a few. Um, a few stalwarts aren't returning this year. They're having a year off. Um, we've picked up a couple here and there, so we'll see what happens. But we've picked up some newbies for, for fifth and sixth grade, so we should have our full six grades. Uh, juniors, yes. they've been a big improver. Um, I think last year we only had two in that junior league age bracket. We've got we got ten this year. Um, uh, the little league kids, we've got all but a full team for that, and we've got some Zuka and T-ball kids as well. So looks positive. You know, the committee's been working really hard chasing chasing kids, trying to get kids involved because we're sort of missing that that spot at the moment where you've got those kids that are filtering through into, into uh senior grade baseball. Yeah. Um, yeah. A couple it's always more years hard, is it? It like, is, mate. It is. To that age so many, where. So many options. They want to play soccer with their mates or rugby yeah. league with their mates or whatever it might be. Yeah, that's it. Exactly right. X, so we Xbox the, with their mates. Yeah. Xbox with their mates. Yeah. 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 <laughs> But, yeah, yeah, so, you know, you old heads are, are going to be around about, you know, here and there. So it's good. Yeah, it is good. It Kicks off soon. Get... Can't wait. Yeah, week after Easter. So there's still room for – there's still time for people to sign up if they want to sign up. Three and... weeks away. Two and reach a half. out. Reach out if you want to play. Yep, plenty of clubs uh, locally. Um, obviously, we support the Toronto Tigers, so. Uh, I'm going to have a game with us, but, you know, if you're not local to that, there's plenty of teams in Newcastle That's and uh, and wherever you're listening from, I'm sure there's there's plenty of clubs. Right, let's uh, get into our tidbits. We have got a pretty busy night, MLB predictions night. So we did a little bit of a one last year where um, I predicted the Angels to um, go all right and clearly they didn't. And uh, we'll, see, we'll see who's going to be hot this year, I guess. What about them Giants, mate? What about them Giants? Stop, Stop it. They won't beat the Dodgers, though. But we'll get into that very soon. Uh, before that, we'll do tidbits, a uh, bit of cricket, NRL, surface, and we'll be onto the baseball in about seven minutes, I reckon. Uh, we'll see how we go with that. But Randall, you're up first, mate, with some yeah. tidbits. This is a cracker that I found the other day. Um, it was floating around a little bit. Did you know that Will Ferrell once played for 10 teams in one day during an official MLB spring training games? So this is a little hard to read, but uh, yeah, March 12, 2015, he was signed by Oakland Athletics as an undrafted amateur free agent. March 12, 2015, same day, traded to Seattle Mariners for comedic, I can't even read it, for comedic actor to be named later. He then joined the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim in an unknown transaction. He uh, was traded to the Chicago Cubs for a washing machine, then traded to Arizona Diamondbacks for a churro dog and a D-bat dog. He was then claimed off waivers by Cincinnati Reds and Norm McDonald was released. He granted unconditional release by Cincinnati Reds, signed by Chicago White Sox as free agent, traded to San Francisco Giants for unknown compensation, then traded to Los Angeles Dodgers for unknown compensa compensation, and then finally traded to San Diego Padres for an unknown, compens unknown compensation. Now, did you guys actually catch him when he had a uh, an at-bat for the Cubs? Yeah, I did. And went, yeah. in, went in and played first base as well. So Yeah. It he was pitched a good, in really good too. Life. I don't know who he pitched for. It might have been uh, – I can't remember. He pitched one one batter for somebody. Okay. I Pretty good. See that. What? Yeah, you know, good little thing. I don't know I don't know what was going on and or whatever, but it was a cracker. It was a great he, day. Um, like he travelled by helicopter to a, a few of them. Um, I think the only thing he didn't do was catch. I don't know if they let him catch or not, but, yeah, he, he fielded every position. He was mic'd up. He loved it. Yeah, it's good to see. Big one here that stands out for me, Randall. Um, when he got traded to the Cubs, 
they got a washing machine. When we got you, we we tried to trade you away, and we all we were after was a new garbage bin. We couldn't even get a wheelie bin for you. Uh, How about that? I think actually you had to give them a brick for them to take me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Will Farrell, what a legend. They they don't allow this anymore, but uh, they should. They should, 100%. All right, this one. In June 9, 1981, Tony Gwynn was drafted by the San Diego Padres in MLB. June 9, 1981, Tony Gwynn was drafted by the San Diego Clippers in the NBA. Unreal. Look at that. Just last week. And, and an interesting stat on that, he had more assists in college as a basketball player than he had strikeouts in his major league career oh. as a baseballer. <laughs> That's, That's unreal, great. isn't it? I, I saw Love that good, the other day. Love a good Tony Gwynn stat. Oh. Mm. We have a couple here and there, don't they're, we? They're almost as good as the Nolan Ryan stat. Almost. Almost. Tidbit three, moving on. There have been 15 unassisted triple plays since 1900. More rare than a perfect game. Yeah. I, I can't I say I've, I've seen, seen one that. recently. No. And umpire know. here looks like he's going to... lost one a few years ago, you know. first... First and was that unassisted? Yeah, you normally get your your usual sort of like first and second occupied, none out. They take yep. off on a full count and line drive to sort of second base. Second base runs over, touches the base, and then tags the guy who was pretty much standing on second. That was one yep. of the last ones I saw. I can't remember who the team was, but that's that's how it happened. The last, last one I've seen was uh, the Tasmanian Devils versus the Magpies in under eights T ball at number two. <laughs> Actually, it was number three, uh, Toronto number three back then. That was the last one I've seen, but <laughs> they're pretty rare. Love this one. Uh, so, Behrman is the first driver in the history of F1 to be on the grid with a driver that was a champion in the year he was born. Oh, Alonzo is still going around. Legend. Oh, oh Beerman did all right too. So might get a seat next year somewhere. What are you, Davo? Yeah, so Cameron Mabin hit a home run in three different decades for the Detroit Tigers. So the 2000s, 2010s, 2020s, despite only playing 132 games for the franchise. So uh, I'd say he'd been traded away a few times. They brought him back a few times and still sucked. But that's pretty cool. I wonder if he just went up and down as well. Like he might have had stint. He, yeah. he probably did get traded away. But I wonder if he went up and down as well. Like I reckon this every away, Back up. It's a pretty yeah. cool stat though. Last one, Davo. Yeah, so you went on about the age difference in the uh, F1. So this the baseball, there's a good chance 17-year-old Ethan Salas will be catching for 37-year-old U Darvish at some point this spring. Darvish made his pro debut on 15th of June 2005. A year later, Salas was born June 1, 2006. Unreal. Crazy. I believe he did get some... Uh... Bullpen action with him, mate. Um, yeah. I don't think he's caught a game with him, though. But it's pretty cool, isn't it? It's crazy, 17-year-olds at that level. Yeah, yeah They're talking is. him up. They're talking him up that he's pretty good, so. Mm. Yeah. We'll see. There's plenty of uh, good youngsters coming through, uh, especially a few of our Aussies, mate. We, um, oh, Bazana's just. Next level with his hitting at the moment, and the same as Jimmy Nadai. Um, even the likes of Blake Cavill and and those kids that are coming through are absolutely crushing the ball. So it's really good for Australian baseball to see these guys crushing and getting the opportunities. So see what happens with uh, Travis Bazana, but he's predicted the number one overall pick. So 
if he keeps hitting the ball the way he's doing, there's no way he's not going to be. No, that's he, right. He, hitting close to 500, and I think today he had two home runs, five RBIs, and it's just ridiculous. He's playing PlayStation, Randall. So Can't even do that on well, there. <laughs> That's it. I can't even do it either. That rounds out our tidbits for this week. Um, I think we've got a bit of cricket action, Dave. Talk us through this one. Yeah, so this was from the Women's Premier League over in India. Uh, a nice presentation to Elise Perry there, who happened to hit a massive six in one game and put it through the sponsor's car's window. So their team is sponsored. I don't know what car company it is, but... She's just hit a nice six through the rear passenger window. So they decided to frame it and hand it out as an award. So uh, let's well, go awesome straight way. to the pool room. Yeah, 100%. bloody earth it is. What a gem. So they're halfway through their season or is that's it now, is it? It's They're done. So the Women's yep. Premier League is done. So at least Perry's team got up over Meg Lanning's team. Yep. Um, I missed the, the final score, but... Uh, yeah, so Aussies were well represented in both teams. So it's good to see. So the women have a bit of a break. The men are on a break now. We cleaned up New Zealand pretty easy, um, which I thought was going to be a lot better series than what it actually was because New Zealand were in good form coming in, but um, Australia were just too too strong. Although they're still, still not sold on Steve Smith as an opener. Yeah. Um, and his reviews, he's up there with Shane Watson. Oh. Um, some of them he's just reviewing without even checking with a teammate. When you're an opener and you're on not many and you re- you burn a review, that's a lot of pressure on the rest of the team. So yeah. um, I think there'll be a lot of talks held whether he – mind you, we don't, we don't play another test for quite a while, but uh, give the selectors a chance to have a rethink about that, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah, lots about it in the in the media about uh, getting him out of there. So see what happens. But in the meantime, um, it's European Premier League. Nice. Or cricket league, sorry, European cricket, cricket league. league. So good oh, to watch. Quality. Isn't it? Oh. Just talking about it before we started, and uh, there is some absolute gems. Well, I mean, <laughs> four wides gonna. <laughs> Hit the ropes and old mate stops it with his foot and then he comes back on and flicks it over the ropes for four. It's like, yeah, uh, I don't know, hear the circus music every time you see one of those reels. Well, yep. it's still better than the guy last year who ran, uh, did a good slide to um, stop the ball from getting the boundary, but while he's still on the ground three quarters over the rope, he's pushed the ball back into play. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I don't know where they get these guys from, but it's it's good viewing. It's it's a good laugh. It's hard to watch and think that these guys are getting paid. Yeah, I wonder what it's they good. are getting paid. Why isn't there people flying over from Australia and having to well, travel a travel and drinking plenty of beer? Indian-looking uh, Europeans, I must yeah. say. Yeah, I think they've got to be. Uh, what, I was listening listening to it the other night, and the two commentators are actually a couple of Australian guys that are over there. So they were having a talk about it, and um, there's some sort of setup where you actually have to be from, like, Italy or you need to be from or wherever. I think it was um, one team was Pakistan Eye Care or something like that was the team. So you actually have to be from there. Yeah, um, Irish and Wales. And yeah, yeah. Even though it's held in Spain. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they were saying that they actually move around, so mm. it's a little bit like I guess like you know um, the F one or stuff like that. They will actually move to a to a different continent and play something some other games apparently. So yeah, I know it's been on yeah, a fair enough. bit on Foxtel. So yeah, there hasn't been much else on. I've been trying to catch a little bit of it. It's that's been definitely nightly viewing. Yeah, d- definitely uh, l- lightens the spirit. A little bit oh, watching yeah. some of the stuff. I was, I was thinking, I was on night shift last night and I seen a couple of shorts watching those. You just can't stop laughing. I tried to, I tried to uh, do a, rev- a review on one and I just couldn't talk. It's just yeah. like our mate's bowling. He can't bowl. 
Yeah. I, I couldn't believe I couldn't believe how many of the actual guys bowling couldn't land it on the actual turf wicket. They couldn't yeah. get it on the, as you would say, cut surface. Hmm. And not just doing it once, like doing it two balls in a row. And it's like, what are you doing, mate? Yeah, like, it's a pro sport over there, Randall. That's for sure. And they're on the they're on the synthetic. Yeah. <laughs> There's not yeah. too much variation in it, is there? No. Nah. Uh, hose it down, mate. Get it whipping. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that would be classic. But we'll just see more trip, trip over uh, um, batsmen running and pads on backwards. And uh, it's a classic. Do yourself oh, a favor, go and watch some if you haven't seen any. Surfest was on uh, in Newcastle last week, fellas. We had really good days. I think it was Monday to Thursday, really good surf. And then uh, Friday, that subway blew in. It was absolutely rubbish. In the last two days were, were pretty mixed bags, but a couple of uh, legends here. Uh, Joel Vaughan, who I believe is from the Central Coast, Nellie Harrison is a newie chick, and they were the winners for Surfest 2024. Good competition, plenty of people in there on the weekend, and um, good to see um, Marco Calupo there and as a you know former winner and. Plenty of people uh, in and about Newcastle, which was cool to see again. You know, they've had good, sort of good to see old MR year. still in the in the promo there. Good old Mark Richards, yeah, and he he Mark handed out the board. trophies, and uh, I think some of them got a few Mark Richards boards as well as prizes, and nice. it is um it is great to see he's he's still involved, does all the dinners and all that sort of thing. I think he might be involved with a bit of Burton Automotive as well, um, who support surfing massively up here. Um, Did you actually get in there, mate? Yeah, I got in for a couple of days. I was doing a cashy. I shouldn't say that out loud, should I? I was doing a painting (laughs) job, and uh, I I went in there on Friday, and it was blowout, and I went in Saturday. Didn't go in Sunday. Yeah, it was good. Lots of photos uh, Monday through Thursday and watch a bit of the live stream. But that's about it. Well, let's let's say they're they're off to Bells now, so hopefully there's a bit of swell down south. Mm. Uh, Hasn't been for quite a while. I know they they moved between Bells and Winky, Winky Pop and all that, but you'd just love to see a good, decent southern swell at Bells one year, just like about a 15, 20 foot, um, just to throw it back to what Bells was like. Yeah. Yep. Would love to see it. I don't know if – I know our – I think it was Monday, Tuesday, we had about four or five feet and it was like really good conditions and then turned to shit with a subway uh, later on in the week. But anyway, um, NRL. Who's, who's going to look after NRL? I can, mate. I, I did watch a little bit of it. Shouldn't shouldn't say that I haven't, but I did. Uh, for Thursday night, Broncos and the Rabbitohs uh, went head to head, and uh, the Broncos pretty much blew them off the park. Thought it was going to mm. be a bit closer of a game, but no, Broncos got away twenty eight eighteen. Friday night, Dave, your dirty dogs got absolutely dusted <clears throat> by the Sharks twenty five six. Pick the Sharks anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, as most people probably did. <laughs> um, but the bill, uh, the the Bulldogs aren't going to look too bad, I don't think, this year, Davo. They, they're all right. Yeah, I think it's they, going to be a building year. Like, I know they've signed the players, but it's going to take a little while for them all to sort of gel. So uh, yeah. as long as we stay off the bottom, I'll be happy. Yeah, Tigers will be, be there, mate. Yeah, yeah. probably the Knights too. Um, uh, Panthers versus Eels, mate. This should have been a cracking game. Um, Eels jumped out to an early lead, but... Penrith, as, as they as they seem to do, is the war of attrition, and yeah, they come out on top, twenty six eighteen. Um, did any of you guys catch that game? No, I didn't catch that one. Yeah, okay. Uh, what about this one, mate? Raiders thirty two over the Tigers twelve. Highlights or lowlights? Lowlights. Yeah, I didn't that see any of that, mate. Twelve. That's that's a good start. Yeah, got to be happy with that, mate. 12 mm. points for the season, but yeah, unlucky. Mm. Took the Raiders. They were always going to win, I think. Um, 
Next game Saturday night. Mighty Knights got done up by the Cowboys 21-20. I didn't only saw highlights. Um, as I said, I was down in the grand final, but um, Knights blew a 12 0 lead at, from half time. Yeah. So, and then got done in Golden Point. So, Future. disappointing. Disappointing. 0 2 with the bunnies, with the dogs. Unfortunate. But they're going to have to do some hard work to get off the bottom of the ladder. Um, yeah, look at that game. ladder down there, Randall. Sorry, mate. There's uh, a ladder there, ooh. mate. Look at it. It's horrible, isn't it? And Tigers. Uh, Got to love the buy, mate. Got to love the buy. <laughs> um, now, I don't know if anyone saw the Storm Warriors game. What a cracking game. I thought the Warriors were going to get it done right on full time. Xavier Coates with that big up, up, jumped up in the air over the top try right on the right yeah. on the buzzer to win the game for him. Cracking try. Yeah, what a try. Pretty yeah. bloody good. Um, but it's the Melbourne Storm, and no one gives a shit because everyone hates them. Um, Manly versus Roosters. Aren't the Eagles flying high? Yeah, this year? Brooks Brooks has gotten away from Leichhardt, so show him what he can do. Yeah, yeah. they're um they're playing some good footy. Um, not that I like Manly, but anyway, they beat the Roosters. That's always good. And everyone hates the Roosters. Um, Manly twenty one over the Roosters fourteen. Um, and then and the Dragons, I th- I thought they were going to have a good year. They played really well last week. Mm. They were rubbish this week. Absolutely rubbish. They got touched up by the Dolphins 38-0. And it was an absolute bludger of a game for the for the uh, Dragons. Did you anyone yeah. catch any of that game? No, I didn't, mate. Diabo? No. Oh, just, mate. Just scores. Just scores throughout because the sales – I was on a perfect ground in the footy tipping, and I thought, yep, Dragons, come on. And then I saw, like, 12 nil, like, yeah. 18 nil. I'm like, serious? And then 30, 30 nil or 32 nil. I'm like, wow. What's yeah, that? Yeah. yeah, so but, that rounds out our footy for the week, mate. What about the Knights? Ran 11 one up in North Queensland for, what, nine years or something? Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a, a long time. That is a um, very long time not to have a win up it is. It's disappointing because some of those years, uh, the Cowboys have not had strong sides. Yeah. They've, they've been disappointing losses too. So this year's another one. Rack them up. Yes. What's the take on Latrell with his uh, expletive oh. uh, sort of interview where he just yeah, so didn't care? No. and, and He knew what he was doing. And he yep. said, and he said it during the interview. He said, "I don't care if I'm swearing," and then just kept going on and f this and f that. And but then, but then talked himself up about, "Oh yeah, but I've scored a hundred tries." And like, how good am I? And it's like, mate, you don't even you have no care factor at all of what you're saying. Like, yeah, no. you got they've got it. They've got to discipline him over it. That's it's not acceptable. Talk about people bringing the game into disrepute. That that's exactly yeah. it, right there. That is yeah. blatant. And everyone, he blatantly everyone's knew what done he was it. doing. Yep, everyone does the interviews afterwards, so you can't say, "Oh, this is a new concept." And sometimes when people do slip up, yeah, they drop an f bomb, and they're like, "Oh, oh they realise he just didn't yeah. care." And as you said, he wants respect from people about yeah. what he stands up for. I'm sorry, mate. You've got to respect others and the game and the code if you want that respect yourself. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's yeah. And he's respect supposedly, you know, one of the faces of NRL, and yeah, uh, it, it's unacceptable. There's so many yeah. kids look up to him, and you know, want to be like him, especially in the indigenous community. You know, he's one of the the proud leaders of that, and yeah, not acceptable. Yeah, it's, it's pr- pretty average, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. You know, and we'll I really... see what happens. We'll see what happens, though. You know, they haven't come out with anything on what exactly is the repercussions of that are going to be. Well, yeah, I think so... Albo's let it go. I think I heard on the news today that Albo said, oh, no, no, no case to answer for. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> average. The court of public opinion is uh, going to have the final say. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, exactly right. Hey, um, 
Let's move on to baseball, fellas. I've got a couple things here before we get to MLB predictions. Um, we just talked about um, Travis Lozano, five five hits, two home runs, five RBIs, just absolute menace. Um, this one as well, fellas, the under-23 um, World Cup. I think we've done all right in this pool. Group A yeah. with China, Colombia, Great Britain, Japan, Puerto Rico. Um, Group B, um, Korea, Nicaragua, Netherlands, South Africa, Chinese, Taipei, and Venezuela. I think Group B is the much harder um, pool to be in. So I think we've done all right there. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure 100% when that is, but um, I suppose I could click on that link, but not going to. Um, we'll see what happens there. The other one today, Sydney Blue Sox uh, announced a new coach, a new manager. Mm. Very good to see. Now, have you blokes uh, had much to do with Brooke Knight? No. No. They okay. came from Adelaide, hey. I think, didn't they? He, yeah, WA as well. So he's been a stalwart over there in WA. Um, I think it says here. Only, yeah, titles 2008, 11, 13, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23 in the West Coast League. Um, he also had some time with Adelaide, also Canberra, Perth Heat. Um, and done really well with all those teams. So good luck to the Blue Sox in there. It's good to see them making some moves in the off-season, and it's not, you know, real late in the off-season. He's, uh, sorry, it's real early in the off-season, so it's, it's great to see. Jeeva, hey, yeah, mate, just talking about the um, Blue Sox, Brook Knight signing. So I think it's going to be a massive one for the Blue Sox, you know, moving forward because everything he's got to touch has turned to gold. And um, I really hope that's the the next thing for Sydney Blue Sox where, you know, they, they might be able to get a deal with one of the um, major league teams and form a partnership again. I know they had the Pirates a few years back and, and things like that, but they really need that um, moving forward, I reckon. And it gives yeah, him the whole off-season now to yep. set up a roster uh, set up a coaching staff, so uh, it's good. And uh, I, I think you said before, our mate from Canberra has stepped down as well. Yeah, yeah Wardy, uh, Wardy, yeah. Hey, absolute legend in the in the baseball game. Um, Wellesy, yeah, Wellesy signed also. Um, yeah, Athos re-signed. Yep, it's good to see um, Wardy, mate. By far. I've thrown to a few catchers, and he's by far the the best catcher, brain wise, behind the plate I've ever thrown to. Um, and as a manager, same thing. He just he was just switched on. He had a great baseball mind. Um, so yeah, Wardy, whatever you're doing next, mate, uh, do it well. And thanks for all those years in the Aussie baseball, mate. You've done an outstanding job. Not so. Uh, Lucky the last couple of years with the, the Cavs, but hey, you in there and had a go. All right, let's. Um, oh, I don't know if I've got one more. I, I did have this spring training numbers in the leaderboards. Have you seen much of uh, Shota, Imanaga, or whatever his name is? Can't yeah, probably going to kill plenty of names in this next half an hour, aren't we? <laughs> but he's. Yeah. Uh, 19 Ks in 9.2 innings pitched. He's just tearing it up. I absolutely love watching him pitch. Uh, it's going to be another another good one to watch throughout the season. Lots of the um, Asian pitchers there that have been signed are bloody great to watch. And I love the Cubs hey. spring training cap there. Yeah, with the full it is bear one, isn't it? Yeah. Absolute beauty. I'll bring it back. Hang on. Yeah. It's a gem. I love that light blue colour too, like the, mm. like the Royals blue. Hey, while we're talking about spring training, Randall, I know you messaged me before about MLB TV. What's going on? Like usually I've watched every day spring training games up until now. I haven't got – if anyone is listening that has MLB TV, 
Are you able to watch the games? I just clicked on it on the computer before and I watched replays. So they're on after, but they're not live. So Yeah, mate, I'm still having issues with my, my supposed automatic renewal subscription that was supposed to happen two weeks ago that for some reason still hasn't hasn't come through. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. Mine's mine's gone through, but nothing's happening, so just want to watch some baseball. I love spring training. That's for me. It's one of the favourite times to watch baseball. Yep. You see plenty of different pitches and your prospects and and all that. So but anyway, yeah, I've been able me. to listen. Though I've, I've listened to plenty, so that's that's been a bonus. The radio still works. So yeah, I've listened to heaps too. I actually listened to. I think it was when you were playing the Twins. Was it yesterday or today? I can't remember. One of the early mornings and night shift. Uh, Listen in, uh, yep. but let's go with uh, some MLB predictions. We're uh, really well planned out for this too. We've got you know plenty of notes written down. I'm sure you blokes have. <laughs> I know you have, just like I do. How are we going to run this? We're going to go through and um, we'll go through each division, and we might start with your. You blokes, AL East, and we'll start at the Blue Jays. Who's hot? Who's uh, who do you like? Who do you not like in their roster? Is there any massive changes over the spring? Let's have a quick look. Votto right can't pitch run in on his first pitch. Yeah. Who was that? Joey, Joey Votto. Can't yep. run on his, the first pitch he saw. Yeah. That's it. He's a but good they've, ad. They've had a they've had a pretty quiet off season though. Yeah, I know they wanted lots, but I don't think they they signed much. No, well, who who their starters here? You've got Gausman, who's probably not going to start the season. He's injured. Manoa. I don't know. There's there's not much has there. Got anyone has he got anyone out yet in spring training? I'm not sure, mate. Was it his first start? He hit like three batters and then gave up three doubles or something. And yeah, yeah, yeah not, not 100 percent sure. Who knows what they're going to do? Like Kikuchi, he, I don't really rate him that highly either. Um, yeah, yeah. Jose Berrios, obviously. Um, him, Chris Bassett. You expect that if they have years like last year in the last couple of years, same as. Um, Kevin Gossman, yeah, there's three starters, I guess. Yeah. Um, uh, You've got Vladdy in the middle of the lineup. You've got Biccio. Yep. Um, Bichette. So, Bichette. Bad Bichette. So, the core, the core is there. It's just needed all to come together for them. And yep. I don't – good for fourth. Yeah. yeah, they picked up Isaiah kind of Falefa too from the Yankees. Um what else have they got in the outfield? Springer. Yep, he's been um, hitting well. So, yeah, Kevin Kiermaier is still there. Like he probably won't hit a ton, but defensively he, he'll Could be good do. and strong. Yeah. Um, Justin Turner, I suppose, is there yep. as well um, with a bat. Um, but even the back end of their bullpen, you know, you you think like, um, what are they? What are they got there? Uh, Trevor Richards, you know, he's not. You know, not too bad there, but Eric Swanson and Jordan Romano, I suppose, are probably their big two guys, aren't they? To to close that set up and close. Yeah. You know, both but, former All Star players. Yep. Um, where'd they get Swanson from? Swanson come from Seattle, I think it was. Didn't he? Uh, I'm not sure, mate. Let's have a quick look oh, here. He might have even been I can't remember. Was he a starter? Yeah, I can't. I can't sure. remember. I can't see. It doesn't matter. They're not going to be at the top of our list anyway. Yeah. It's, it's just l- sure. lucky. Lucky I did heaps of research. Yeah, yeah. Well, or well, not just me. We'll, we'll <laughs> talk about the positions we think that they'll they'll go in a minute. We'll run through each team in the in the divisions and go from there. If there's any um, chats come up, fellas, let me know because I'm off a few different screens here. Um, where's their roster here? 
this one 40 man Tampa Bay Rays transactions wise uh, did they lose much uh, here's, a, here's a big so. one for you Junior Caminaro uh, he went down to Durham Bulls but he's still part of the, the organisation watched him play you know, a bit in Australia so that's pretty cool um, Willie Vasquez uh, any other big names there that you can see nothing nothing major no tip, typical rays they just promoting from within yeah so they'll, they'll got, love the young guys always got decent pitching though haven't they like i don't know something about yeah, the rays they always have yeah they seem to find those those borderline sort of players or lower lower tier players and they pick them up and do something with them. Zach Eflin. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's, you know, a decent, decent arm. Um, yeah. Other than that, they're going to have their, their usual suspects, aren't they? How about this guy still down as an <laughs> infielder? <laughs> He's in the penal is he, league. <laughs> is he coming back? Is he? Don't think so. But Curtis Mead, let's hope he gets a good run this year. Hey? Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I really think he will. Spring. Yeah, yeah, I think he will. Um, Brandon Lowe and him will be a good pair. Uh, Yanni Diaz is it, They've got a pretty decent lineup, haven't they? When you think about it, Aros yeah. Arena in the outfield, Josh Lowe. Um, yeah, it's I still don't be. think they're going to be at the top of the list. In I don't think opinion, they'll be far away. No, no, yeah. They'll be a top. They'll be top three of that division. Top three, yeah. All right. What about the uh, our friends, the Wankies? Well, obviously they they got their big problem with uh, with Garrett Cole, obviously missing. Yep. Picking up an injury, so fingers crossed he misses half the season. Yep. Yep. Judges, judges injured. Yeah. But no, they well, don't yeah. seem to think they don't seem to think it'll be too bad. And um, Stanton apparently has lost weight and trying to rejuvenate, but no, no he's, yeah, we'll see. He's, well, they might they might um be in that top three downhill. So I actually think they got a pretty Remember, decent um, ros- uh, rotation no, though. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Like it went, yeah, if, so. Um, I think they do too. Uh, 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 their their problem is going to be missing Garrett Cole, but missing that ace, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So you're Are they going to get yeah. Montgomery? Do you think? Do you think someone will pick? They might as well. Would... You know, you got Garrett Cole, um, Esther Cortez. Esther Cortez. Um, who else is a starter? He's there? solid, but he's not a gun. Stroman. Carlos Rodon, yeah. Marcus Stroman. Yeah, he's a, Marcus Stroman's a pretty good pickup for him this year. Yeah. Um, mm. yeah he'll do a job for him. Um, Actually, I, I like their rotation. I think they'll do pretty well. But, yeah, what have they got? Hing-wise, uh, LeMay here, Rizzo, Clayber Torres, Volpe in the Volpe, infield. Yeah. Um, Juan Soto's a, a, a big pickup for him, you know. If yeah. He hits, and especially that right field fence at Yankee Stadium. Yeah. Aaron Judge. Verdugo is a pretty good signing for him too, to be honest. Yeah. Sort of shores up, and shores up some stuff. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think they'll go uh, top three, but you think top three uh, for them? Nothing major. What about your your Red Sox, Davo? What's uh, yeah. I know they've lost a few, yeah. Giolotto's done for the year, sales been pitching well for the Braves so far this spring, yeah. <laughs> so they signed CJ Crone to a minor league contract and invited him to spring training. What's the any news there and what he's going to do? I haven't heard Trevor Story's yeah. fit at least for the moment. Um, yep. Him That's and Devers are hitting well, 
defense wise, I don't know. They've they signed uh, Bello, Bello or whatever his name is to a good extension. He's pretty good. Good arm. Tanner Hook, Hook has had a pretty good spring. Like he's shown plenty of potential. So um, hopefully those guys step up and say they've got Hendricks to come in later. We've still got. Teams. I really hope he goes off again. Uh, yeah. I really hope he does well. Uh, yeah. you got Cassis, who had a good season last year. There's bits and pieces there, but I just don't know if it's enough to contend with the other teams in the AL East. Yeah. Raphael Devers is uh, going to hit well, mate, and make 412 errors for you, but... Yeah. So Vaughan, that uh, Vaughan Grissom's uh, pickup we got for sale... So it'd be interesting to see how he goes. Yep. Um, but yeah. Where's he? From? Where, where did he come from last year? The Braves. Yeah, Braves. yeah that's who we got. That's for sale. Yeah. 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 Probably a good pickup. How do you reckon they'll go, mate? Fourth. Fourth. Right up. Maybe fifth. Uh, I guess they're they finishing like- ahead of. <laughs> I know, I was just thinking that. Oh, hang on. <laughs> yeah, fifth. What about your uh, Orioles, mate? Hey, I reckon they're looking good. I think they're looking good. I, if they if they don't win the AL East, it'd be very disappointing. I think and a lot uh, of uh, a lot of rookies and things, mate, had pretty breakout seasons last year though. You reckon they can continue back it on? Up. Yeah, and, and so, well, sophomore the fact, mm. maybe, but there's there's that factory just churning them out in the in the back, isn't there? So if those guys aren't performing, there's plenty of guys in the wings that are waiting to jump in there. Yeah. So you know, you're thinking of your Heston Kirstads and your Kyle Stowers and all these sort of guys that you know they're not going to be your everyday players. So if you have your your Austin Hayes or your Cedric Mullins that aren't performing, boom. Yeah. These guys are nipping at your heels. Yeah. Same as infield, you know, um, Ramon Arias. Like, he's he was real hit and miss last year. The year before, he had a pretty good year. And then yeah. you've got you got Westberg. You know, you've got these guys, um, Gunnar Henderson, Jackson Holiday. Like, those guys are right behind him. Yeah. Um, they acquired Nick Maton um, this year. So, an- another infielder. And then you've still got Jorge Mateo that – <laughs> they're having him play the outfield at the moment because they haven't got a spot in the infield for him. Yeah. And Adley leading the way behind the dish. Yes. Yeah. And then you've you got, you know, Brian McCann that's um, sitting there in the wing. Oh, sorry, James McCann sitting there in the wings mm. um, if he's not performing or, you know, sure, that's not going to happen with him. That would just persist with him, I'm sure. I think the, the big one would be that closing, the closer now. Obviously, with Felix Bautista going down, the signing of Craig Kimbrell. Um, yeah. You know, he's, he's not a spring chicken anymore. He's been a little bit up and down these last couple of seasons. but Got a pretty good ERA there for his spring training, mate. Yep. Yep. <laughs> He'll be solid until you it, find another it, arm. Well, that's exactly it, isn't it? You know, they've still got. Um, um, who else? I, mean, I don't know about Senor Perez. He was a little bit, a little bit up and down last year as well. He, he was really struggling. Then he had a real bust out back end of the year. John um, Mean is John Means healthy? John Means is supposed to be back throwing. Um, their rotation is what is what the biggest concern is. But obviously, um, picking up Corbin Burns was massive. Massive. Um, that that's a big big changer for them. Um, yep. Yannir Cano was is always tidy there at the back end too. So, can I? We'll see if they don't win. I think it's going to be if they don't finish first in the AL East. I think it's going to be a diff, disappointing year for them. Yep. Right. Give us give us the order. Randall, you go first. I'm going to say Orioles for number one. Um, I'm tossing a coin between Tampa Bay and the Yankees for number two and three. Yep. Um, but they will finish two and three. Probably Tampa Bay, Yankees. Just depends what happens with Garrett Cole. Yep. Um, and, and 
Tampa Bay, you know what they're like. Um, and then for four and five, I have to toss a coin again between the Blue Jays and Red Sox. I think yep. it's going to depend what what they get. How they think people, people like your your Devers and stuff like that. If he has if he has a half decent season, they can have that. They can be, you know, better than they were the, last year. It's yep. the pitching that's the the weak yep. point for Boston. The hitting's there. I say you've got plenty of hitters. It's the defense and pitching. Yep. And that's probably where the Blue Jays have the edge over, over them, I would say, where they have got that pitching, that extra couple of arms. Fair enough. Dave, what's your order? Uh, Orioles, Wankies, I think they'll do enough. Rays, Jays, Red Sox. Oh, Red Sox last. I think... I uh, say it, but... Yeah. I'm uh, going to throw a spanner in the works here, and I reckon that um, your bottle Orioles are going to be second, Randall. Um, I, I don't know with their pitching, mate. I know they've got a pretty decent uh, lineup hitting wise, but um, no, nah, just kidding. Baltimore Orioles first. I was going to say, coming from the guy who picked the Angels last year. <laughs> Orioles first, Yankees second. I think uh, Tampa, Ray, Tampa Bay Rays, Blue Jays, and the Red Sox. Sorry, Dovo. Yeah. So um, good day, though. Under promise, overachieve. That's Pretty it. Much. There's that's no it. expectations on them. All right. The AL Central. Um, Ugh, yuck, do we even want to go in full no. wrap up? Do we just want to do our predictions here? I reckon just yeah. do our predictions. Who you got, uh, Randall? I am going to go with. I'm going to go with the Guardians, actually. Yep. I'm going to go Guardians, a Twins, White Sox, Kansas City, Detroit. Yep. Fair. Yep. Dave Guardians, Guardians, Twins, Royals, Sox, Tigers. Royals, right Royals are on the improve, so a um, few younger guys have got that year up on them now. And um, poor old Tigers stuck with Javier Baez, who's hitting what? Under a buck in spring training, yeah, um, yeah. Don't see them improving. Not yeah. ideal. And go uh, the Twins first, Cleveland second, uh, Kansas City, Chicago, and Detroit to round it out. See, uh, see what happens there. Not much love for Chicago, is there? Nah, very little, mate. AL West is going to be a good one. Oof. It's uh. Obviously, it was a it was a great one last year. Um, I'm pretty sure the Angels will probably be similar to what they were last year, fellas. Uh, don't want to go out on a on a limb this year, but you know, well, um, healthy at the moment, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Let's well, have a guys, quick look. At you guys and I, we're probably all going to agree that you're going to have Oakland last and can and uh, the Angels second last, aren't we? Yeah. Maybe, yeah, probably, probably. Let's have a look at the Rangers roster. I, uh, as defending champions, I'm not overly confident in them coming back to back. Um, what did they lose, and what did they well, gain? Jordan Montgomery's gone. That no one's picked him up yet, have they? Nope. There's plenty of action here. It all uh, depends on their health again. It's like, yes, you got Degrom, Scherzer. And then, but yeah. are they fit? Are they healthy? Yeah, that's it. You get those two healthy, time. you don't need Montgomery. Plenty of pitches, none of big name um, to come no, through. Barrier. Yeah. Nothing that stands out massively, is there? I mean... They're losing a, a bit of pitching from last year. Um, I don't know. I'm just not feeling it for him. Max Scherzer, is he healthy? Yeah, don't know. Yeah, sure. look, it's probably going to rely a bit on that stuff, isn't it? Scherzer yep. and DeGrom. Um, also, mate, might depend on people like on uh, Ivaldi. Yeah, what are they going to get out of him? Is he going to be lights out, or is he going to be not not so good? Um, 
John Gray, same. Like, is he going to is he going to get it done or not? Yeah. Um, What's yeah. like a Baldy when he was with Boston? He'd have a couple of good starts or a good year, and then have a real shocking year. So, and injury yeah. prone. Yeah. So, he just the clerk was good for them in uh, in last yeah. year's um, October. Yeah, uh, you know, I assume he'll he, be good again. Yeah. He was he was red hot. Uh who uh obviously Jose Berrio still got Josh Young, Corey Seager, Samian. Low. Yep. Garcia, Low Evan Carter. Yeah. Still a red hot team. Uh, I just don't know if they can back it up. I don't know, I haven't haven't watched much of them in spring or Heard much of their their games, but yeah, I'm not feeling it. Seattle Mariners, what have they done? I know they've lost, you know, a few, but they also brought back um, uh, Mitch Henniger and uh, who else did they bring back? JP Crawford, Cal Riley. Let's have a look at their um, their roster. Pitching wise, Matt Brash, solid. Logan Gilbert, George Kirby, Castillo. Yeah, they, they've got a pretty decent roster. I guess one of the things they do though, they don't spend up at the trade deadline, do they? Like they got rid of, like they were in contention and got rid of their um, closer last year. So I don't know. Well, this is, this is what Munoz like. They've still got enough. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Catches, they got plenty of catches. Yeah, they've got a couple of Cal Riley, Mitch Garber, and even yeah, Sebi Zavala. 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 Yeah. I can't even say his name. Yeah. Um, Crawford, Ty France. J-Rod's in Hawk, there. So yeah. it's, a, it's not a bad Probably, lineup. Jorge Polanco yeah. was probably a good little pickup for them. Yeah. Um, switch hitting, was he switch hitting second baseman? So, you know, that's a, he's a pretty handy. Josh Roas, Luis Urias, yeah. I'd say uh, for them, J Rod does a bit for them. They just got to put it all together. That's, I think last year that was a very disappointing year for them. Yeah. Yeah. I think they should have been better than what they were. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Well, you know, Castillo yeah, is their opening day starter. They're not in so, an easy easy division, so you know, definitely not. You, you you can't just be good; you need to be excellent in that yeah. division, especially with Texas and Houston. Not even going to touch on Athletics and Angels, fellas. We'll have a look at the yeah. Astros. Otherwise, we'll be here all night. Um, <laughs> Biggest thing for the Astros is the man in charge. Yeah. With no Dusty Baker, I'd be interested to see what course this team takes this year because he's been a just a solid, solid as a rock for them. Um, yeah. And the leader that's been perfect for th- that roster. Yeah, I agree. Agreed. So I hope whoever, you know, is the... Uh, who is the manager this year? Do we know? I don't even know who it is. Anyway, um, yeah, I hope they continue on the way they're doing. You know, lots of people hate on the Astros from the the old trash can days, but they're always a solid, solid unit and always in there, aren't they? Towards the end, um, Joe Asparta, okay. first year manager. Their probably big one was Josh Hader. Josh Hader for sure. Yeah. Yep. JP France. Uh, Presley Solid, you quitty. Yeah. Frame of Valdez, Verlander. Old man Verlander still going strong. Love to see uh, him have another really good year. I enjoy watching him. 41. He's still hope for you, yeah. Randall. Still hope. <sighs> Uh, you're right, no. 
So they they did, very... trade away, they did trade away trade away uh, Martin Maldonado. Yeah. Which hopefully they got a better hitting catcher. Obviously he was a good receiver, but um, yeah. Oh, that's right, Victor Carantini. Yep. And Diaz. So you know they're all right there. Yeah. Mm. Pretty solid infield. Bregman, Altuve, Mauricio Dubon. League leader in home runs. Yep. You're done. Yeah. Yeah, he'll crush. Pena, John Singleton. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's a pretty it's a pretty solid lineup, isn't it? Very decent Tucker's, indeed. Tucker's just solid, so underrated that he's there every day, just does the job. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to give you my rundown first, this one. Houston Astros, Seattle Mariners, Texas Rangers, Oakland over the Angels this year. All right, I will, I'm, I'm with you with Astros. Yeah. Seattle in second. I think Texas, yeah, they're going to get the wobbly boot and be in third. Uh, then the Angels and Oakland in last. Mm. Yeah, I think Astros on top, but I think Rangers will still do enough for second. Mariners, Angels, Athletics. Fair enough. Poor days, moving to Las Vegas. Then start <laughs> spending money. Get him out of there. Um, what do we got here? Let's go. Well, let's do the central because uh, the east is packed, and uh, so is the west. Cubs, Reds, Milwaukee Brewers, Pirates, Cards. Who wants to go first with this one? I'll go, mate. Brewers first. Yeah. I think that they'll, they'll do more than enough. Um, then I'm just going to throw one out there, and I'm going to go Cincinnati yep. in second. We've got some, some young guys coming through. Um, then I'm going to go to the Cards, then the Cubs, then the Pirates. Wow. All righty. What do you got, Davo? Yeah, I think Brewers on top. I think Reese uh, Hoskins is a good signing for him. I think he'll go well away from Philly. Um, yeah. I think Cubs second, uh, Cards, Reds, Pirates. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, the Brewers will be on top as well. I actually like the Cubs for second as well, Davo. Cincinnati Reds in third. Pirates over the cards for me. Uh, I hope to see the Pirates make a bit of a run. NL West, the Nats, not going to touch on them. The Phillies, Mets, Marlins and Braves. Phillies, did they do much? I can't recall. Uh, Everyone's still chasing the Braves. Yeah, for sure. Uh Anything of value here? I can't remember. Jordan Loop Road. They lost. Uh, anyway, let's have a look at their uh, roster. Pitching wise, Aaron Nola has got to be one of their, their top starters for sure. Ranger Suarez. Zach Wheeler. Gregory, Gregory Soto. He's a couple of solid starters. Real Muto behind the dish. Taiwan Walker. They've picked up. Yep. As well. Yeah. Infield wise, I don't see what they've picked up here. What have they done? Alec Bohm, Bryce Harper. I wonder what. You what see the Harper infield of the outfield? What was that? Sorry, I was going to say, is Harper back throwing yet? He's yeah, playing first. Field. He's playing first base. Yeah, I think there. He's that's it. He's done his first base. They said that's where they're yeah. going to play him. Um, they picked up Whit Merrifield. Pretty good pickup. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, I don't know. I don't know what he's. I don't know where he's going to play every day. Yeah, we'll see. What has he done spring training-wise? 
Yeah, he's hit all right. Had 11 hits, 29 at bats. It's only spring training, but always good to see someone in form. Cassilanus, Brendan Marsh, yeah. Rojas, Schwarber, DH. They're going to be solid again. Yep. Always going to be sure, around it, aren't they? 40 bombs and a 200 batting average. Yep. <laughs> yep. 200 strikeouts. Uh, Atlanta Braves, fellas. They're, they're pretty red hot, aren't they? Yeah, they're the team to beat, aren't they? In I think division. so. Kentucky Fried ch- mm. Chicken ch- Fried. Oh, chicken Fried. Uh, side Yeah. Charlie, Charlie Morton. Morton. Spencer Strider. How many strikeouts do you think he's going to have this year? Yeah. 250. Uh, what, third year for him or is it? Is it third uh, or, or second? Did did he win? Yeah. Last third. year did he win? No, it's third, third. isn't it? Third. Yeah. Two uh, solid catches. Yeah, they could both be everyday hit. catches anywhere. Yeah, both both hit the ball well. Infielders Albies, Arcia, Matt Olson, Austin Riley, um, Cooney Jr., Harris the second. There's Duval and Jared Azuna. Tonic. That was a good pickup. Yep. It's just yeah, they're solid. He's not doing much. They they sent him down the minors just to um, or the backfields just to work on his swing. Yeah, freshen okay. up like, so. like oh, well under a buck. <laughs> yeah, right. But um, yeah, you look you look through that that lineup there, and it's like, well, where's Where's the hole? Where's the weakness? Yeah, there's not much weakness there, there is it? Uh, all right. What's your picks? What's your picks, Davo? Uh, Braves, Phillies, Oops, sorry, Marlins, Mets, and Nats. Fair. Marlins yep. will be there okay. about nothing special, but. They win enough games for yeah. third, yeah. maybe for third, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm the same. I'm I'm Braves, Phillies, um, Marlins, and I'm going to go Mets over the Nats. Is um same. trumpet boy back for the Mets? Diaz, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah apparently so. Love to see him dealing a bit of bit of action in the end, but. Yeah, you might not see him too much. No, that's right. Not in a safe situation anyway. <laughs> Got nah. yeah. to be close, don't you? Randall, did you choose? I'm the same, mate. It'll, yeah. be, it'll be Braves, Phillies, uh, Marlins, Mets, Nats. Yeah, fair enough. NL West, uh, the Dodgers are going to win 142 games. If it goes anything on their spending, um, this off season, and they're, the they're going to be hundred game winners again, surely. Um, with the roster they have, I, I guess if they're not, it's going to be a huge disappointment for them, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, a massive for underachieved sure. year. For well, sure. even talk of um, Atani playing the field at some stage this year. Yeah, apparently he's going to start the throwing program once he gets back to the states. And Roberts is even entertaining the idea of um, in the field, somewhere not pitching, but just in the field. That way it frees up that DA trial for someone else. Yeah. Well, they've got plenty of blows that can hit. Yeah. Let's have a quick look at their uh, pitching rotation. Yamamoto is going to be awesome to watch. I've only watched a few highlights of him so far, but, yeah. Walker Bueller, Tyler Glass, though. He could have, yeah. like, a no-mo effect over there. Yeah. Um, like, in LA. And Atani. Atani's going to bring him in. But I think the two of them, I remember being in LA when no-mo mania was going. And it was just crazy. And I think it's going to have the same effect. They they draw $3 million anyway. But yeah. um, that's why they can afford what they're doing. 
when yep. you draw so many people. It's yeah. about this, mate. Two way plays. It's the first we've seen, you know, this in the in a very long time. He's just yeah. a bloody unicorn, but I hope to see him swing a few uh long balls and a, a few good uh cracks of the bat, but not against the San Francisco Giants, hopefully, but <laughs> Will Smith, Austin Barnes, Freddie Freeman uh, voted number one most likable player to play against. I don't know if you've seen that poll. Yep. Uh, Gavin Lux, Max Muncy, Rojas, Chris Taylor. Uh, Mookie Betts is second base. I was about to say, Mookie Betts is supposedly playing shortstop as well, so uh, yeah. that'll be something different. See what happens there. Um yeah, so you got Betts going to be playing shortstop, Haywood, Hernandez, Outman, maybe throw a bit of Shohei in there as an outfielder later on in the season or a first baseman or whatever it might be. So I'm sure it'll be more outfield than first base. But Yeah, not knows? with Freddie Freeman playing first base. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Uh, what else have we got? For... The NL West, the D-backs coming off, you know, being in the in the big dance. Any uh, any big moves for them, fellas? I haven't really. I haven't seen or heard anything. Yeah, I don't know. They're uh, they obviously did enough to get there. Well, the like eighty-four wins or something. So it's not a huge. Huge uh, win loss to get there, but they did enough to to go through and win in postseason where it counts, and it's all they need to do again, isn't it? Yep, that's right. It's yep. uh, say it every year. Zach Allen. Who else? Have they got Mer- Merrill Kelly, one of their big starters. That's who uh, SeaWorld went there last year. We're talking about um, Seattle last year. You're throwing away SeaWorld. Like, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so we'll he's see. one up again. So That's over. probably going to be their, their their downfall is they're probably their rotation is probably a little bit suspect. Yeah. Yeah, infield is solid. Suarez, Cattell Marte, Peterson. Well, Corbin leading the way in the outfield. Yeah, Guriel Jr. Guriel Jr. Yep. Josh Peterson. Yep. Yep. So Corbin Carroll. We'll see what he can do this year. Coming off a solid, uh, solid year. So I don't know. San Francisco Giants just signed Blake Snell. Uh, They picked up a few this year. Chapman, uh, Hung Yu Lee. So we'll see. So you're hungry. See what they do. I'm, uh, I'm actually liking their rotation. Well, I hope you've got good relievers. Yeah. Snow. Tristan Beck. Snow won't give you much more than five each start. Yeah, mate. That's all right. That's all right. I really hope they, um, they've they been sort of playing around with a few – um, of their young prospects coming up to start. I really hope they do and they throw um, Jordan Hicks back in the bullpen, but he's going to be one of their starters. Um, Robbie Ray's on the injured list. you got Tristan Beck, who was supposedly coming up to be one of their um, starters. He had – what did he have on his shoulder? Um, a tumour on his shoulder. Oh. So... Uh, Mate, it's all happening there for them. But Alex Kyle Cobb. Harrison, young fella coming through. Uh, Alex Cobb's back in about a month, so that'll be a big one for them. Robbie Ray, if he gets back and healthy, will be good. Logan Webb and Keaton Wynn um, will be some of their other starters. Sure, Patrick Bailey Tyler, behind the dish. Tyler, Tyler and Taylor Rogers. Yeah, great from the pen, aren't they? Yeah. They, they're, you know, real good for both of them. So uh, also Duval, Camilo Duval will 
be closing out for them. Patrick Bailey will probably be behind the dish uh, for most of it. Blake Sable, Joey Bart will uh, probably be down at Triple A. I would imagine on he a, has hit pretty well. On another team by June. Oh. What was that? On another team by June. Yeah, probably. Well, you know, they signed plenty, so you, you sort of got to expect that. Like their third baseman that just got done, got sent away. Uh, big one in the news about the new rot, how they can um, he pass through arbitration, and then after that, God, they uh, DFA'd him and put him up for waivers. No one took him, so they sent him back, and uh, he's gone now. Patrick Bailey, yeah, behind the dish is going to be a solid one. Matt Chapman, Estrada, Flores. Flores was unreal for him with the bat last year. Um, Luciano, I don't think we'll get too much of a run. Um, Lamont Way Jr. will be solid. I think uh, VR will probably go down. He's not going to get too much time with Matt Chapman there. Conforto in the outfield. Hung Hu Lee has been outstanding so far. Um, a bit disappointed Wade Meckler's gone down. But anyway, Jorge Soler and Mike Yastrzemski, uh, they're not going to have enough to beat the Dodgers, I don't reckon. Uh, here's my predictions anyway, fellas. I'm going to give it to you. Dodgers, uh, Giants, D-backs, Padres, Rockies. He's got uh, Dodgers, uh, Padres, then D backs, Giants, and Rockies. Randall, yeah, Dodgers at the tippy top, and then I'm gonna go Padres. Giants, I think D backs are going to have an off year, and then the Rockies. Well, there you have it. It's going to be uh, awesome, whatever whatever happens here. And for the MLB season, I don't think uh, either of our two World Series opponents will be there this year. It's going to be who have you one. got? Who have you got this year? Braves and. Uh, I don't know. Who? Ah, uh, maybe your bloody Baltimore Orioles. Get I don't know. Playoffs. Orioles, <laughs> Orioles, and Braves, Randall. Nah, nah. Come on. Yeah, Orioles, Braves, Braves to win. Who you got, fellas? Astros, Dodgers. Astros taking it. Nice. I hope they do. Randall? Yeah. Um, Come on, mate. It's not that hard. Two teams. It is. It's, it's probably the, know fourth, the, fourth. the American League for you. It's, yeah. Uh, well, uh, it'll, I think the four teams we've just spoken about, it's going to be. One of those four, it's going to be probably Orioles, Astros, Braves, Dodge, one of the Braves, Dodgers. So no, let's say, no, let's say Orioles, no, no, no. Fence sitting. Orioles and Dodgers. Yeah, right. Yeah, fuck the Dodgers. Yeah. Yeah. All right. MLB, it's back on. Get around it. Anything else before we go? Good old Tex getting a win tonight. Apparently Tex through CS yeah, seven and two thirds. Nice. At his new club, MacArthur. Yep. So he's still going strong for an R bloke. Good work, hey, buddy. On your Tex. Thanks for that, Jivo. Yeah, all right, fellas. Let's leave it there and uh, we'll see how the predictions go. If the Angels win this year, it's I'm not gonna be happy. I'm not gonna be happy. Picked them for last this year, so they will win it. 
You're going to win put the whole thing. You get better on, put a dollar on him. Get on sportspet.com now. All right. Yeah, let's, let's what leave are, there. What are they paying, I wonder? I don't yeah, know. Let's have a look. Hang on. Um, what's, what's... Don't load up on them just yet. We'll just check the price. Baseball. Uh, upcoming. Oh, come on. All baseball. Yes, mate. Well, hang on. Let me go back. World Series. Here we go. We are looking at... 101. 176 on <laughs> oh, Sportsbeat. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on, on the TAB, they're 101. Oh, they've hey, got some still, inside knowledge. Maybe they just listed the them. They bought them in, Randall. The Rockies are 250 to 1. Who is Rockies? the Rockies? Five, 501. Yep. By 501 the, on Sportsbet. What's the Dodgers? Dollar dollar twenty favorite. Four twenty on sports. Yeah, bet. I've got four fifty. What about um? So the three the three of the four teams we just spoke about: Dodgers are four fifty, the Braves are six fifty, Astros eight dollars. Um, and then yeah, the Orioles. Then they've got they've well, got 15, the Yankees. Yankees, Yankees for ten dollars. Yankees, Yankees, Texas. For 13, Philadelphia for, for 15, Orioles for 15. Yeah, that's basically your top 10. Tell them they're dreaming. Right, I Giants can... are $51, mate. Load it up, load up. Hey, Boston are only 34. 61 on sports bet. Oof, I've got about 34 here. Get on it, Dave Ho. Yeah, it's $61. Jesus. Bet responsibly. Right. Yeah. Nah, throw it all in. No one's listening anyway, Davo. Yeah, pretty much all going to bed. <laughs> but definitely uh, gamble responsibly. <laughs> all right, peace out, fellas. See you. See you next week.